stop it. <laughs> what were we? And we're back. What were our lives? Part of a test run? Right. Looks like that's all we are to these bastards. No. My life will not be a test run for genocide. I'm gonna demand Schultz calls a meeting the second that cure is in our veins. We need to discuss and how to make sense hurt thing. for the pain they've caused. We ready to save Varroa? Fox received a recording from his source. I, I'm not sure, but I think it could help. What is it? Play the recording. Genius. What's this thing keeping people in Aroa? The drone perimeter. We're calling it Operation Citadel. I think Walker came up with the name. Any weak spots? The perimeter is made up of different interlocking sectors, and each sector has its hmm. own drone swarm. Each swarm is managed by an AI that runs through a local relay terminal. I can see that system working for surveillance, but it took out my chopper without All firing right. a shot. The swarms, they... They're made of yes. dozens of miniature drones that oh. act in unison, like a flock. You made an artificial bird strike. No. We made you artificial birds to do the oh, job of bees. That. Pollination. <laughs> it's Stone and Walker who militarized our swarms to create a deadly shield perimeter. Who thinks like that? People after power. Skeletech needs to start thinking more like its clients. How well did you know Walker? Yeah. Well, we fixed things together. Hey, he was a military advisor you brought in after the Skeltech bomb. We were still in mourning for the friends we lost. And then this hero oh, shows up. Oh, no, you play the he computer, was you play competitive. He was magnetic, charismatic, you know? Like a TV star or something. Yeah. Okay. That guy could charm the fleas off a dog. He kind of changed after he left the unit. He... Never spoke about it. Well, it's top secret. Let's just say it wasn't pretty. Yeah, my achievement. I suppose you got tricked into inviting private military contractors into Aurora. Well, I mean, not exactly. We're self-governing. You used to be. Okay, we used to be. We needed security. Not just as a police force, but as security. At least that's what Miles got me to finally admit. Against pirates and the moment and such. Our drone security was limited. Yeah. It Easy still is. If unauthorized people land, we would know about it, but we couldn't do anything about it. You're obviously not afraid of squatters. Yeah. You were afraid of corporate spies. We do get spies it's from time to time. Don't tell the or shareholders, no, but the more our tech discoveries are disseminated throughout the world, the better off it'll be. But I was worried about the safety of our staff, the bombing. I just never imagined the antibiotics would be more deadly than the illness. Sentinel snuck a private army into the abandoned U.S. military complexes. Stone's been playing this takeover from day one. My colleague, a young yeah, Puri, who dealt with this, certainly has a better picture. This guy Trey Stone doesn't make things easy. He always seemed kind of ambitious. He and Walker always had some friction. Walker mentioned Stone before, but never in a friendly way. I take it he isn't very likable. He's a creep. But I've had to work with all kinds of people before. Sometimes you tolerate jerks just because they get the job done. Did he get the job done? I don't actually know. He kind of insulated himself. As a subcontractor, I couldn't supervise him the way I did other people. I had to trust Walker when he said things were going well. Fox called you his best friend. Yeah, I never thought about it, but I guess he's mine too. Times like this, you can count your real friends on one hand. You known him a while? You a buddy from college or something? No. A few years ago, I hired him as a consultant. Long he was long. working on the problem P versus NP. That literally means nothing to me. It's a math problem. One of the math problems. But Fox was just so enthusiastic about everything, I widened the scope of his role. He was involved in every non-military project Skeltech had. He's a good guy to have around. Absolutely. 
Hey, what's the deal with this chick on all the video screens? Ayana Piri. Yeah, my CFO. <laughs> I guess she's just, uh, fulfilling her regular job duties, sharing the company news. Yeah. Did you see the one where she said I was crazy? Right. Having a mental breakdown or something? It's not a bad propaganda campaign. Oh. She's not as smart as she thinks she is. Her strategies were always traditional. She's never had any real vision. So why keep her? She seems so genuinely concerned about the employee's welfare. Now I see she's just playing office politics. She's more clever than smart. She's effectively taken over as CEO. Hey, did Fox tell you who his inside source might be? Now, I don't want to press him. I'm not even 100% that he has one. But if that source gets into trouble, he could need someone to help out. He hasn't told me. And I doubt he would respond well to a man with a gun asking him the question. Hey, you don't have to tell me. Just as long as you know. I don't know. All these and it's not like him to be quiet about anything. I mean, the things that guy told yeah. me about his ex-wife? It was like listening to a guy describe a squid eating a chocolate birthday cake. No, Nobody needs guess. to hear that. So if he is keeping the secret, it must be pretty big. Must be. Explain something to me. This Titan program. Why in the hell would you think it was a good idea to build giant killing machines? Aren't lethal drones enough? I recognize that smaller drones are already deadly and far more cost efficient, but I was influenced. Walker. He was always complaining that the existing drones didn't have enough media presence. These days, wars are fought on television screens. He wanted titans that could exude charisma and raise hope and simultaneously suffocate the spirit of a nation. Sounds charming. I find that once I'm given a task, my ins You're not the only Hey, you just hit B to fast forward through all that. Hey, genius. I always thought you were more of a pacifist. Gotta uh... say, though, it's a damn shame you had to start making lethal drones. I was naive, I guess. <laughs> I was hope for the best out of people, we you know? We already playing more combat. A bomb goes off and I meet the wrong person at the worst time. I bought their logic that if you want peace, carry a big stick line of reasoning. Stone even said, doesn't God have his avenging angels guarding the gates of paradise? I never felt right here. We're building heaven on earth. And we're not gods. Is that why you kept the secret, Project Omega? Because, you know, some people might look at it as a PR shield, keeping the image of a pacifist while making money on weapons. PR is important, but you don't wear a seatbelt because you're planning to get into a car crash, right? You have to be cautious. <sighs> right. That outcast bombing must have hit you pretty hard. I... Maybe you read about it. I lost my wife and... Uh... September 11th attack on the World Trade Center. Sorry. I didn't know. I guess, uh... I guess I can't blame you for bringing in Stone and Sentinel. Do you know what it feels like to lose someone? Yeah, I do. You get all torn up inside. You get to feel like you're falling, but it's an endless fall. You grab hold of anything you can. So what am I grabbing hold of now? I don't know. Us. We need you, Nomad. But you probably need us every bit as much. Hey, I've been hearing about that World 2.0 stuff. And maybe the yeah. world needs a software patch, but a utopia? Really? People out there and the rest of the world, Wait, 10 minutes. they think the Earth's dying. They have this belief in scarcity. They think that we'll run out of energy, out of space, I only got a out of water or anything. And that makes every day a crisis. And World 2.0 would fix that crisis? It was more about fixing that mentality. I wanted to show the rest of the world that with innovation, with creativity, and with a little courage, it's easy to see the universe is abundant. And how about now? It's still an abundant universe. That hasn't changed. Just, I thought I could keep out jealous people and the cowards. No getting away from them. No. I'm probably not as brave as I want to be, either.
How did you buy Aroa in the first place? I didn't buy it. I leased it. Aroa is technically part of New Zealand, but the U.S. had leased it for years. Yeah. That's why there's the old naval station. But wouldn't it have been easier to rent a chunk of California or something? I'm sure there's a big stretch of Mojave that nobody wants. No, I yeah. never came up to this. Man. The abandoned naval station here piqued our interest initially, hoping we could piggyback on the Cold War infrastructure. That was a wash. But once we had visited Aroa, its biodiversity won us over. Good Hope Mountain has ice, Infinity is surrounded by fields, and the swamps of Finn Bog sport as harsh a conditions as any good drone tester could wish for. We fell in love with the place. I bought the lease from the U.S. government. And now these are your islands. No government but mm -hmm. Skeltec. Well, avoiding government regulation was a factor. Oh, I'll bet it was. What are we doing? Um... I met a lot of Skeltec employees who are mad at you. The outcasts? Sentinel hasn't taken care of them yet? They're idiots. But right now, they have resources and personnel that we need. So we have to work with them? For now. But I'm not getting too attached. You healed up from the bombing attack? I mean, in your head? Yeah, well... I had to deal with the aftermath. First team to inspect the site. I still remember all those broken ah. windows, shattered yeah. shards of glass. I kept thinking, we can fix those, we can fix those. I got the windows fixed, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I stopped scheduling non-vital meetings in the Skell Foundation head office. I'm done. It's different than when you see something on TV. It's... It's just reporters and sirens. Thursday night, it's the right? smell. So acrid, it singes your nostrils like... Who's the energy the around man? you has been sucked away, you know? Yeah, I do. And the bombers were never caught. We never knew if another one was coming. We suspected the outcast, but now that Sentinel's taken over, I wonder. You're the one who asked Sentinel to step in. Yeah, that's, that's on me. I need more about Paula Madeira. How long have you known her? Years. I hired her right out of grad school. Actually, she was still in grad school. She was only 20, but... She was just so smart. I knew that with her, I could lay the foundation of Skeltech's advanced drone program. But are you friends? Was there something else going on, or what? There's something here I'm missing. I think hiring her so young, she never really learned the art of adapting. She didn't like working with Walker. I could have handled her differently. I know I need to talk to her about that. You didn't answer my question. It hurt. She was so special and one of the first to truly believe. And in hindsight, she was also right. She saw right through Walker. She was immune to his charm. And I was deaf to her warnings. When did you get away from using dollars? You like the screds? I don't understand them. They're a cryptocurrency. As much as we could, we wanted to get away from the control of international banking. But it's a made-up money. All money is made up. It only has value because we all agree on it as a medium of exchange. Everyone in Aurora agrees to use screds. And Skeltech makes sure to create a limited supply. So if we all agree to use your play money instead of dollars, the economy still works the same way? Money is only worth what you think it's yeah. worth. My only mind blown. Fast Listen, I get they well, Grace Matter. Yep. Sure. You, Ayana Puri, my and you, she plans to download her mind onto that stay computer. Out of trouble. I know it sounds a little crazy and unbelievable, but I, I don't have much time. Sometimes I don't know. Well, I'm glad. Believe me. You two see Yeah. But aside from No. Just me. You and Paul, uh, you're kind of... A mentor is more than a boss. Well, she's here now. That's Two something. More. Absolutely. It's at least a start. But our opponent... I hope so, genius. I hope so. So, 
Skelt, I'm listening. Our first economically viable autonomous... So explain to me how you got... Our next invention, the Skelt Transporter, was the first affordable smart delivery... Could be useful. Our Cherubim City and Sky models... I'll keep that in mind. My point is that I have... Well, let's see if we can make sure your legacy is intact Genius. at the end of this. It all started with two basic military training drones. I'm sure they're... Behemoths are massive tank-like machines with incredible firepower. You mostly... Thanks, genius. Wish me luck. Stay out of trouble. Focus is my forte. Whopping 15 minutes, 45 seconds later. You ever think about the old days? <laughs> oh, we got a long way to go. the helicopter. Whoa. Somebody just blew up our stuff though.
still be there. I see no engine. When you trade the Marcus Cousins, I said he's out. Great player for four years, trade him. Four years, trade him. Man, what y'all doing? Trade Isaiah Thomas first. Then you had Rondo and, and Cousins. Like, that was good, but we had no, no other shooters. And then you trade Cousins, you got to get shit in return. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, De'Aaron Fox, baller. Valencia, Valencia is a baller. They just need a true center. And they got a uh, left-handed. Uh, he was good too. Hold on, look at that. Uh, Bagley the third. We gotta, we gotta talk to him. I gotta, I gotta restart the mission. Vote yes, Saya. Alright. So we gotta be, we gotta be stealthy. Getting ready to start the next phase. You bet your ass that's what it means. Well, I was fast. Yup. Buckle up. Because there's nothing to remember now. Roger. I heard the sub is leaving. Who 
Who's leaving on it? Hell if I know. None of us I'm ready. I think there's a cargo. There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them over here. Yeah. From somebody or to somebody. Laugh all you can. Have you thrown down with that son of a bitch Walker? A few weeks back, he caught some of us breaking the rules. Did you guys ever hear the one where a little Red Riding Hood goes into the forest? But this time, she's read the fairy tale. So she brings a really, really big gun. <laughs> so she's headed to Grandma's. And what do you know? Big bad wolf grabs her. And he says, no, I got you. And I'm gonna screw you all alone. Right. Hey, Will. So Little Red pulls out her gun. She hikes up her skirt. She says, no way. You're going to eat me, just like the fairy tale. Attention! Y'all having fun? Hmm. Wolves! Huh? The elite. Best of the best. But here you are. You drunk. Fraternizing with civilians. And how about you, you pathetic piece of shit? You just let that woman take your weapon. We were just... We were just trying to relax. Sir. <laughs> well, shit. I'm sorry. I would not want to get in the way of you trying to relax. And the pistol's not loaded, sir. I thought I was fast. 
I've never seen a man move that fast. If I hadn't run, I'd be dead. He killed the others. Now he's got a habit of killing his own men. He sure holds us to a high standard. He moved house after that little incident. Walker's a guy with a very clear idea of what an American soldier should be. That's not the only line you crossed. What's Walker's plan? You'll find the answers you're looking for in the Wolves HQ. It's to the south. It's called Shark Base. I'm only telling you this so that my friends don't have to hunt you down. Have fun dying. Have fun dying. Probably, probably when their schedule is lined up. Hey, I'm gonna fast travel to see your passage by your, by your VOC. Hmm. Then you can fast travel with me. Do we need a helo?
Stone Cold is done at that point.
なんですよ<笑>He's solid. Should be Cantor, but I don't know Cantor. He's off the bench, man. You're supposed to be that dude. Tatum, Brown, Kimba keep putting the ball in the basket, it, it, we, we got a problem regardless. I just I just hope they don't lose that, you know, if we go to the finals. Yes, I'm not I'm in the uh, war room. It was a maze to get in here though. lead all series. Oh. 
before. Found me, sire. Hey, I gotta figure out how to get into that submarine.
Fox is getting away with the whole damn coop. Shit. Getting away, sire. I'm in a fight. Uh, ain't in no fight. Yeah. I'm gonna fly away in the fast car. We can fast travel, sire. Map. Fast travel. Yay. We will talk to scale and then we will end the video and start another one. The next part. Yeah, because you got like the blue, not the blue, the green. something you might find interesting. You're back. Good to see you. Be nice up to when it matters. <laughs> <laughs> 